I get a load of this XFX GeForce 9800 GTX. See that? That's some special XFX. Say that 10 times fast. Say it, say it, say it, Eric. Do you do it? I will come over this table with a fury. And I'll have this in my hand to bludgeon you with. And then I'll be like, oh man, why did you do that? You broke the, uh, you broke the graphics card. I bet it'll still work. Special XFX all over this thing. This is a really pretty looking card. It's the GTX from the next generation sent to us from the heavens. It's a tri SLI card. Now, right off the right off the bat, everybody wants to know, oh, how fast is it? How fast is it? It's this fast. <laughs> That's how fast it is. Uh, let me tell you what we're working with, and then I'll get to some benchmarks. Uh, now, this card is very similar in uh, specifications to the 8800 GTX. Very, very, very similar. In fact, it's so similar, it's almost eerie. Except it's a smaller manufactured process. That's right. It's, it's going to run cooler and a little bit faster. It's a 256-bit card, and we've got 512 megabytes of GDDR3 that runs at a double data rate of 2200. We also have a 675 megahertz core clock, and the shader clock is, what is it? 1688. That's what the shader clock is. Now, all this produces around a little over 70 uh, gigabytes per second, second as far as the uh, bandwidth is concerned, and we also have 128 stream processors. Uh, now, it's PCI Express 2.0. And try SLI. Look at that. Right there. That's beautiful. Special XFX. I like the graphics on this. In fact, I think I needed to get a separate one to, to put on the wall. XFX. I would like a separate one to put on my wall. I'll do it. If you, uh, you know, give me two for the price of one. Work a deal under this table, but not that kind of deal. All right. Benchmarks. How fast is it? Well, it is uh, about 10% faster than the 8800 GTX. Uh, well, it's a little, and it's a slight bit faster than the 8800 Ultra. Not quite as fast as the uh, 9800 GX2, but you know what? In, in in some games, it does do better, especially in Vista, because uh, the 9800 GX2, it's two cards, and it uh, if, if a game doesn't support two GPUs, then this card's actually going to get better performance. So that's a bonus. And also, one thing I might want to note is the fact that this one is um, is going to be faster. If you put three of these in the system, it's going to be a faster system than two of the 9800 GX2s. And it's about the same price because this one is priced extremely well. All right, forget this benchmarks. It's all anybody ever cares about anyway. Now, you know what? I called up my friends at XFX and I said, hey, uh, I want some benchmarks with some new drivers. I've got some benchmarks with some preliminary drivers and they looked pretty good. But they, they did ran a test with, um, with Crisis while I was on the phone. And uh, they, they ran Crisis. They were running it at uh, 1600 by 1200. Uh, default settings, which ended up being all, all high all the way around. And uh, even some uh, filters. I believe they had uh, yeah, 8x, no, 4x filters with the anti aliasing. Here's what they got at 1600 by 1200. They got an average of 54.21 frames per second with this card. That's extremely respectable for uh, one GPU board like this one. Very respectable. Uh, I can't even imagine using three of these in the same system. That, that's uh, that's really where where this thing is uh, at. But for, for in this price range, this is definitely my pick. So if you're spending this much money, then think about this one, or uh, or else I'll help you have nightmares. I can't threaten people. All right, uh, some of the specs or some of the benchmarks I had from a preliminary Nvidia part. Uh, let me go into those, and I'll compare it with the GX2. Half-Life 2 Episode 2, 1920 by 1200. All the effects turned all the way up to max. The GTX, this one I've got in my hand, was at 193, and the GX2 was at 197. So extremely uh, similar there. And if we turn Crisis all the way up to 1920 by 1200, uh, this card is at 46 frames a second, and the uh, GX2 is at 50 frames a second. So you see there, it's almost the same performance as the GX2. That's, that's hot. This uh, video features lots of funny facial expressions, by the way. So that's pretty much all I'm really going to say about it, except for a few more things. Dual Link DVI right here, 2560 by 1600. And uh, they've included a ridiculous amount of cables in the box here. Now we have two of these, two, one for each. So if you're still running VGA uh, in your cave, there we have uh, two DVI to VGA adapters. We also have something for the uh, little breakaway spot. That's an S video spot. Uh, and we can plug in uh, component and get 1080i with that. So that's cool. Uh, also, they, they've included the S video cable. That's nice of these guys. Man, these guys are nice people. I even talked to them on the, talked to them on the phone. They're very nice on the phone, too. And take, take a look at this. We have HDMI that supports 1080p. And that'll hook up to one of the DVI ports right there. 
1680p in your eye. And uh, what else have they got? Well, right over here, as you can see here, we need two six pin PCI Express connectors. Uh, this one uses a lot less power than the 9800 GX2 as well. So that is something to make note of. Around 300 watts of power is pulled when you're uh, under load. And there's two of these in the box, two of these. Molex on one side, six pin PCI Express connector on the other side. And like I said, you have two of these. So if your power supply does not support uh, the six pin PCI Express, well, you know what, if you've got two, or if you've got four Molex connectors, then all of a sudden it does. It's like a wizard hit your computer with a wand and fix that problem. Look at this special XFX. XFX is special. And uh, again, try SLI. I think everyone should try try SLI. For more information on the XFX GeForce 9800 GTX, go to compusa.com and type P450-9802 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.